The next team I would like to invite on stage is Swiss Sense from Switzerland. Round of applause. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are Team Swiss Sands from Switzerland, and in the next five minutes, I'm going to walk you through our market to entry strategy. So currently, in the medical field, we have a problem. Doctors and patients cannot monitor patients' health closely enough, and diseases are unpredictable. It is, all, it is quite difficult to detect the right disease, since symptoms can be common, it takes patients a lot of money and going back and forth to the hospitals to make the right diagnostics. And even more important, it takes them time. Time when we can actually do something and it's not too late. And actually, as you may be aware in Switzerland, we are quite careful about optimizing everything that goes about money and time. So here we would like to introduce to you our solution to this problem. And this is the Swiss sensor. So Swiss Sensor is a technology based on microfluidics that is compact and easy to use. So the main benefits of our technology is first of all multiplexing. As we interviewed the cardiologists uh, in our home country, one thing came up. They do not want to just measure NT, prob, NP. They want to be able to measure other indicators as well, such as troponin or analytes. And having all of these measures integrated in one single device would be a major advantage. In addition, with the microfluidics, we can measure all these markers at the same time with a single drop of blood requiring less than 10 microliters of samples. However, Swiss sensor is more than just a measuring device. We want it to become a real aid in the decision-making process, but also to help and monitor the patient. So given the advantages of our device, as well as the total size of the serviceable market for the cardiac testing, which is estimated at 3.5 billion, we believe that despite competition, there is still unoccupied market space for our sensor. And our target market is going to be Europe, which we estimate at $1 billion, given that more than a third of patients with cardiovascular diseases reside in Europe. And the entry point is going to be Switzerland. Now, we plan on bringing a dual value proposition and make revenues from two channels. First of all, the device. And based on competitive benchmarking analysis, we would like to price our device at 1000 euros with the single test around 30 euros and the second channel is going to be the analytics and synchronization software which would allow one to integrate the results into existing patient electronic records and also ultimately with an increasing number of users and machine learning algorithms to allow the device to generate uh, a clinical diagnostic outcome by itself our target accounts are the practitioners and domestic hospitals, but also pharmacies as a second client base, so that both you and I can go to a pharmacy and have ourselves tested for a number of biomarkers. Ultimately, we would like our device to be available for patients at their home. In order to succeed, we have a quite multidisciplinary team with engineers, business developers, but also a strong support network, including cardiologists, technical advisors, but also industrial partners that have experience in bringing devices from the lab to the market. In the future, we would also like to hire a field engineer who would raise awareness about our technology to the doctors and deal with the software synchronization issues. So here is our vision for the next five years, and it starts today with an already patented proof of concept that we plan to um, scale up and have a first test um, in order to be able to gather data to apply for the CE certification and ultimately um, on the long term to apply for a CLIA waiver which would allow us to safely uh, sell our device to the patients for their homes. The diff different financial sources are depicted below and we estimate the costs of bringing our device to market to be around 15 to 40 million, sorry. 
and we'll have a lot of industrialization potential and we can bring down our costs, namely in the chip, and make it more optimizable with cheaper materials than what we currently have today in the electronics, since we can do ourselves a lot of these parts and finally uh, improve the accuracy of our software. Thank you very much and I welcome any questions. Um, sure. So, okay, be basically based on what is already available today on the market. So, if we look at the companies that were on the competition side, wait. Uh, sorry. <laughs> So this, the price was basically estimated by looking at how much these companies sell their devices on the markets and what is their individual price of the chips. Um, now, these estimates are also based on the Swiss market, which is um, agreeably one of the most expensive healthcare markets in, in Europe. Uh, and in addition to that, since we're adding this uh, entire multiplexing possibility, to be able to test with just one drop of blood different biomarkers, uh, ultimately just more than just a sensor for a single protein, which would justify the, the costs. Sorry, say so again. If you have a device, you have a device for a thousand euros, then you have the cartridges, right? Yeah. And so if you're targeting these kind of settings that you're looking at, like pharmacies and, 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 and cardiologists and so on, how many, do you think, how many um, cartridges they will use per day or per year? Um, so the question is, how many tests would a single device be able to do, basically? Um, I agree we have not done that sort of calculation yet. So for on a single chip, which goes for one patient, you're able to do eight chips. And in total, it takes a total of, um, say, 15 minutes between the two different patients. So if we're looking at standard working hours, there should not be any limitation from our device point of view and the electronics. Um, so that would allow to do around um, four patients per, per hour. Thank you very much. Give her a hand.